Jump Trading Simulation and Education Center is a collaboration between OSF Healthcare and the University of Illinois College of Medicine at Peoria. Jump uses a variety of simulation methods to educate clinicians from across the healthcare field. It's a virtual care delivery setting that replicates all areas of clinical space. One of the tools we have at our disposal here at Jump are standardized patients. Standardized participants are actors who are trained to portray cases based on actual healthcare encounters. They're able to portray emotion and affect, and they're able to elicit emotions from the learners as well. He doesn't want anything done. No, he doesn't. He has a do not resuscitate. I have it in my purse. Do you need it? We make regular use of these standardized patients through the full spectrum of our simulation here, from simple task skills that are augmented by having standardized patients play roles, all the way through very complex team training uh, protocols that go on here at Jump Simulation. The development of the standardized patient program at Jump is invaluable because it allows us to widen the array of skill sets we can cultivate in our learners. For instance, we often use um, standardized participants alongside our high fidelity mannequins to bring the human factor into a very high tech situation. It's not just realistic, it's real. The standardized patient gives that person direct feedback about all of their communication skills. Standardized participants not only portray patients, but they can also portray other members of the healthcare team so we can practice things such as teamwork and communication skills within stressful environments. We also often use standardized participants to portray family members so that clinicians can practice um, giving information to family members and interacting with them within the clinical space. Okay, two days ago the rash right. started. Right. Okay, where's the rash located? Well, it actually started on her chest um, and then it went down to her upper abdomen and today when I was getting her dressed... So standardized participants not only are skilled in the portrayal of case details, but they're also very skilled in providing feedback to the learners. They're able to help them understand what was it like to be your patient. That might be the only time that a learner actually gets to hear that type of feedback and to understand what it's like to be their patient. The ability to build rapport with patients, the ability to describe uh, disease and its cure, it's absolutely essential to really have a fully immersive and realistic scenario for those communication skills. So we not only use standardized patients for medical students, uh, beginning learners, we use them for professional learners. And the feedback is tremendous. These people portray the role of patients in such a way that allows those professional learners to really refine their craft. It's been very interesting to see the emotional response of even veteran faculty learners when they enter the room and have an encounter with a real life person. There's nothing more impactful than getting direct feedback from another human being about your communication skills. And I'll, I'll tell you, my personal experience is that I've changed the way I talk to patients through the use of standardized patients.